Jen, and for my part of speak, uh, I tried to answer the question, what does it mean to be a girl? And I, and I did this through um, a lot of research and interviews, and one of my favorite things about this project were the conversations I was able to have with members of the community, both student and faculty. Um, so the question, what does it mean to be a girl, isn't exactly something you can Google. It's not like, how tall is the Empire State Building or is an avocado really a fruit or vegetable? Um, yeah, so you can turn to the media and <laughs> just pull out my card here. Um, anybody who knows me knows that I'm really not a fan of math, but I'm just going to throw some numbers out. Um, the average teenager in the United States spends more than 11 hours on media. And one thing that when I interviewed Luke Kennelly, who teaches, who's taught both feminism and media studies, um, one thing that he said is, you can't spend so much time with something, on something, and not be affected by it. So this is sort of what we're being affected by. Um, looking at any of these individually, this is something that most people see in a, all right, it's another advertisement, it's another TV show, it's another whatever and they continue about their day-to-day -day lives. And what you don't realize is that's actually seeping into your subconscious. One of the, one of the first things I learned during the course of this project was um, the best way to sort of justify violence against a person is to completely dehumanize and objectify that person. Um, you can see here, they're a bottle of beer, they're a video game system, they're a car, um, they're their legs are hacked off and turned into a pair of scissors. And these are all things, when you dehumanize somebody and objectify them, the violence against them is easy. You don't feel bad about enacting violence against an object as you do. You have no empathy with an object. This isn't something um, that just comes with the media. This isn't something that just comes with the United States. This isn't, this isn't a media problem, a United States problem. This is a world problem. All around the world, in our country, in other countries, um, women are considered far less valuable. People don't always consider it correct, but they do consider it normal. And because of that, um, it is considered normal that the UN estimates that there are 200 million young women that are missing due to gender side. And it was considered normal that there are 300 million women in the world living with female genital mutilation, and that number goes up by 30 million every year. And it's considered normal that there are 19 million little girls in brothels in India today and they keep getting younger and younger. We want the right to choose our husbands. We want the right to own land. We want the right to go to school. We don't want to be cut anymore. We want respect in politics and to be allowed to be leaders. We want equality. I want you all to leave from this presentation today and start to strive for that equality. Thank you.